Hi, my name is Hamza Jacobs. I'm an IT trainer with New Horizons in London. I'm here today just to show you a couple of cool little tips and tricks on Windows 7 and Office 2010. How to create subtotals in Microsoft Excel. Subtotals are an extremely useful way to look at totals per regions, per divisions, per departments, per areas. Uh, and an easy way to work with this is if you look at the file that I've got at the moment, I've got quite a bit of data in there. Not too much, just a little bit. But I also have the divisions. So someone comes to you, your boss comes to you and asks you, oh, what was the total gross pay per division? Then go in, um, well, I need to filter and then do this and that. You don't need to. The first thing you want to do there, if anyone asks you any type of question like that, what's the total per country, total per city, anything like that, all you need to do is click into the division column or the column you'd like to get the total by. I'm going to use a very quick ascending sort and in 2007 and 2003, it's under the home tab on the far left. Drop the arrow down, I'm going to sort A to Z. Notice that sorts the division together. So I've got Australia, then Canada, then Germany, then Great Britain. Now, to create a total per division, remember I've sorted and that's important. Sort by the column, so sort by the name, sort by the client, sort by the area, wh whatever you need to sort by, sort by that first. Then we'll go to data, subtotal. So that was data, subtotal. At each change in, here what you're doing is you're saying, when my division, so look, I said each change in division, when my division changes, use the sum, notice you can change this to any other function, use the sum on the gross pay. Click OK. Here we go. Quick easy totals, total for Australia, total for Canada, total for Germany, Great Britain with a grand total at the bottom. Another nice thing about your subtotals is if you look on the far left, I've got numbers over here. This creates groups. So now what you can do is click on the number two. You've got your totals. I can now easily leave this in this view and click on the plus sign or minus to expand or collapse them. To remove the totals, very easy, you go back to data, subtotals, remove all, it's like you've never touched the data. That was how to create subtotals in Microsoft Excel.